Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 0.7510 UNC hole and a 0.7510 UNC external thread. So this would be an external, uh, this would be a threaded hole, and this would be an external thread on a cylindrical feature. So let's first create a hole. To create a hole, you click on the hole command, which is next to your extrude here. You click on the hole command, and then. Uh, but if mine is a threaded hole, but then you should you should see your uh, uh, if you're opening this uh, hole command for the first time, you'll see a general hole setting um, pop up. Uh, now you can choose the type of hole that you want to create. And for a general hole, there are different forms. You could that would be anything between simple hole to a counter sunk hole or a counter board or a, a tapered hole, right? So if you want to do a counter sunk hole, you just need to define the counter sunk diameter, the counter sunk angle. Uh, the diameter of the hole itself and how deep uh, the hole goes now what we are interested in is the threaded hole so the way you create or you know the way you specify the point the way you dimension the point is the same and irrespective of a threaded hole or uh, um, uh, you know um, a general hole or any other type of hole but here the only difference is we have a thread dimension that we, we can specify so we wanted a three by four ten. So you know, you just need to scroll down, find three by four ten UNC, and then uh, uh, you know determine the depth. Right now, by default, it's full. So you can define it to be one times the diameter, or you could say it's one point five times the diameter, or you could give it a custom length. Right. So let me give it a full hole, full. Uh, um, let me give a full thread. Uh, and uh, the depth itself you can define if it's uh, you know by default it would probably be until next or uh, through body uh, we want to give a value on where we want the thread to end and I've given that to be 2.5 here now I'm going to specify the point so I'm going to click on one of these faces once as soon as you click a face since I didn't have a point beforehand it's going to create a point and uh, it's going to take you in the uh, direct sketch and sorry the sketch and task environment um, if you want to create more than one hole on the same plane which is of the same type uh, I mean if you want to create two same holes then you can on the same plane then you can just create one more point like this and then dimension them but for this case I just want to I want to create just one hole so I'm gonna delete this or just undo um, and then let's dimension this to be at the center so you want to always ensure you dimension these uh, points so it's not freely lying somewhere you can always create a hole first and then dimension uh, these sketch points uh, but I prefer to dimension the sketch points and then uh, finish hit finish uh, you will see that the holes created here um, and that's a 0.7510 UNC threaded hole remember uh, when you use a threaded hole command you get a symbolic thread and not a detailed thread and uh, when I show you guys uh, how uh, you know uh, how to create the external thread you will see the difference between a, um, a detailed thread and a symbolic thread operation so now I have this uh, threaded hole created on the bottom I'm gonna click OK and that's how we create a threaded hole which is a 0.7510 UNC threaded hole right now I want to create an external thread on this um, also uh, just FII uh, you can create a general hole and then create threads uh, and then you can add a thread onto that hole as well uh, especially if you want to add a detailed thread and you don't want to use one of these uh, UNC or ASME uh, um, standard holes you can just uh, you know create your own thread type then you just add a general hole or you can do a simple extrude and then add an internal thread as well uh, but I will just show an external thread because um, it's it's similar if you know how to do an external thread you can do an internal thread so go to more uh, find thread under design feature um, so first I will show you how to do a symbolic thread then I'm gonna suppress it and show you a detailed thread right so let me show you a symbolic thread first uh, so to do a symbolic thread go ahead and uh, click so my cylinder is a 0.75 uh, diameter cylinder so uh, as soon as I clicked, it automatically selected. Uh, it, it selected 0.7520. I think it's a UNEF. Yep, UNEF. 
that it uh, you know uh, UNEF uh, standard that it's it decided for me uh, it chose for me so instead I want a point two a point seven five to ten UNC uh, uh, thread so I'm gonna do choose from table here again if you're on uh, metric it's going to look different so you want to ensure you're on unified uh, if you're if you want to get an ANSI standard so click on unified on the form choose from table and do a uh, point so we need to look for 0.75 that's 3 by 4 that's going to be done here 0 0.75 10 you and C and click OK um, the length of the thread you want to see how far this thread goes right um, I, I don't know how, how deep I have selected this but I'm just gonna make this 1.5 uh, and uh, and that that's fine uh, and then click OK uh, okay and then you want to hit select start right uh, in this case it automatically selected uh, the face for me but sometimes it's gonna give you this name uh, box which actually means select start face so you got to select this face that you want to start with click OK and then hit OK so you see this is a symbolic thread because it's just showing you a dotted line that's what it did for our uh, thread as well it's gonna give you a dotted line here uh, we should be able to see it uh, let me click on the threaded hole it should probably see you see that I mean I, I think it, the graphics just uh, glitched there but if, if you saw those blue dotted lines that's that's what uh, the threaded hole that, that signifies that that's a symbolic thread right so now I don't want a symbolic thread so I'm gonna suppress this for now and then let's create a detail thread on the side if, if you prefer doing a detail thread you could do that just go to detail um, select the phase um, you know see the pitch is different but I can do it's a 1 by um, it's point 0.1 so that's fine that's 1 divided by 10 that's a 0.7510 UNC again uh, but you know uh, it's not UNC I'm sorry you got a um, it's, it's not exactly the standard dimension but you can look into your tables and you can ensure you give the right uh, minor diameter and you can ensure that the thread that you specify is within the uh, UNC standards um, then give it a right angle uh, and then select start so that you again select the start of the phase and then hit OK uh, remember you want to avoid detailed thread as much as possible because it's going to be uh, graphically intensive or oh, I did a full thread so I can of course change that I don't have to do a full thread um, you can do a 1.5 again 